would be on a session with Jeff for a movie or something. And Jeff was always the guy that would, and, and, and Luis, you, you were probably on many sessions where he would always get everyone to do one last take if it wasn't happening. And that one last take would be the one. And Jeff was always the guy to bring it back to where it needed to be. The ringleader, if you will, that would just be able to control the session in a way where it brought everyone's game to its highest point. I did go out with Toto once. Lenny couldn't do this one tour. It's back in 88. And so I jumped on it, man. Just get a chance to play with those guys, you know. And uh, I was just, you know, on a train in France going somewhere. And I just looked at Jeff sitting across from me. And I just had, I just had to tell him, I says, man, I mean, you hear all this all the time, but you just, you just play great. I just love playing with you, man. You're, and, you, and, and, you know, you groove and stuff. And he goes, man, that's Bernard Purdy and John Bonham, man. You know, I don't want to hear it. You know, he just would not take compliments, you know. I was there the night at the baked potato when Jeff was playing and his hi-hat pedal came apart on the bottom. <laughs> and who's down there fixing it? Vinny Caliuda. <laughs> and he's looking at him, at him with a cigarette in his mouth, cracking up. They're both smoking and Jeff's looking at him, smoking, looking at him, cracking up. And, and I'm there as this young who moved from Santa Maria, California to L.A. to go to M.I. And I'm just going, oh, my God, my heroes. One of them's fixing his hi-hat pedal. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that, was one of, that was one of the things. Greg Matheson told a, a great story that we have on one of our shows um, where he said they were at a session and Jeff was pulling back, so he went with them. And when it was over... He got together with Greg and said, Greg, you can't do that. If I'm pulling back, you have to stay where you're at. That's the whole idea of stress and relief. If we both pull back, it's not going to work. And that was a real lesson for Greg early on in his, in his career playing in the studios. I remember talking to Jeff about how he, when he was younger, he felt like he it wasn't trying to lay something back as much as it was trying, as I'm sure we all did when we were kids, trying not to speed up, trying not to rush. Even if you go, I know he's a big Bernard Purdy fan. That's one of his things, but making sure it's, and by trying to play it spot on, you're not rushing. Well, some people would say, well, I'm going to lay that back because I'm 16 years old like I was, and I'm listening to cassettes going, man, I'm rushing that. So I'm working on laying it back. And Jim Kelter, I'm sure, has told you guys before, he's told me that, that Jeff would always say, Jim, I want to do what you do more. You know, you're playing things, you know, laid back. He said, well, I'm working on not speeding up, you know, teenage testosterone. So even at Jeff's memorial, Keltner talked about that, how Jeff would say, you're one of my heroes because you – you don't rush. So I know Jeff, even in Modern Drummer, was always saying, yeah, my time sucks. I'm like, your time sucks. Your time is amazing. We got all for this session, which is a live to two-track recording at Ocean Way for Dave. I don't know if you know, guys know David Lasley. And it's all live to two-track. So it's got to happen, you know. Right there. There's no, there's no, no stopping. And, and, man, David, you know, David – gets nervous and all this and, and it's like supposed to be like three days of recordings and we get there and the first night man we barely got anything done because we do a take and we're like we're now like in the outro the last chorus and, and david and i wait a minute wait a minute he'd make a noise or something and you have to stop over and over again and it was just it started becoming really a drag and towards the end of the night i hear all i heard was like the boots I heard like somebody put the sticks on the snare drum, and I just heard clunk, clunk, clunk. And he's because I couldn't see, I couldn't see him. It's Dave, it's uh, Jeff walking over to where all the singers were, which is where David was. I just heard, "Yo, David, I gotta talk to you for a second, man. I don't know what they talked about, and I don't know what happened, but the session went smooth for the next couple of days, and we got it all done." Thanks, Jeff. It was Jeff was like one of those cats, man, you know.